Hello all, Serious Lee's here, back some more Placidly Permadeath, and today we're going to do a little bit more frigate stuff because my frigates have not only leveled up a little bit, so we're going to take a peek at the fleet before we send them out on some missions, but we're also going to go over some of the frigates that I got between episodes. Managed to find one of each of the kinds that we need. We need tra we had, we kept combat. We had a combat that worked. I managed to find a trade, uh, an industrial, they're both C-class, and an exploration we saw on the first page that is damaged, but already has four upgrades. It's 34 mission uh, expeditions. I think we'll be able to fix it and get it to S-class. It's gonna immediately jump to A as soon as this gets fixed. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is what we're looking for. It almost doesn't matter if it ever gets fixed. Minus 4% to mission duration is pretty cool. I can more than compensate uh, for a one ton per 250 light year frigate with uh, support frigates. So we're good to go. That, that'll work, even if it never hits that S class. But it, it will. All the others, as you can see, there are no more damages. We've got them all. Look at this guy here 36 to fuel and seven across the board. Nice and even. Very, very nice. And so much more levels to go. That's great. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing <clears throat> if we get the other minus nine module for the last S-Class upgrade? Uh, wow. I, I didn't know it could go to 45, but yeah, wow, amazing. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, so we do need to name this one. And by name, I just mean we're going to get rid of that beginning part. I actually had one of these that was so long of a name with the beginning part, I couldn't change the name and have it all display. So there's no fuel reduction on this guy, but we do have minus 4%. And we'll just go to them in the list. Industrial, nothing in the list. But we will put the asterisks for leveling up. And just to help the, if, in case alphabetization matters, I don't think it does. Uh, maybe within categories it does. Uh, yeah, this one has nothing to list at the end. But, combat, there we go. Uh, nothing, nothing to, Right, right home, but pretty low stats, doesn't matter. One ton of fuel, that's what matters. That's the big takeaway for these, as far as I am concerned. Because all the modules that we've got installed on this thing over here, that's what compensates our fleet coordination being, you want 55 to 60, somewhere in that range is very, very, very nice. And uh, you get really, really good bonuses to your frigate missions. Let's show that off. Let's see what that 7-7, seven, seven, the one that's all 7s, let's see what that gets on a mission. Let's find a general mission. 2 hours, 36 minutes, minus 36 fuel. 7s become 21s and 24s by itself. This is halfway. One of these, let's send this one. That's a five-star mission. Oh, no, what What didn't hit? Ah, because that one's six. All right, how about that guy? There we go. We could probably find... Yeah, look at this. Uh, this guy might have been damaged in his high level. <laughs> That's why he has such high stats, but we can find a C-class ship for that. So, you know, that's what those bonuses give us. So, what do I want to do right now? I think I have time to send out a couple of missions and then the long mission later. So I'm going to send the short ones out first. And ah, I can only make one of these. I would like to be able, oh no, I can send one of these because I have one. Uh, let's see if I can make any. Fuel oxidizer. No, we have one quad servo, so <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do later. That's what we're, that's what we're doing today as the main thing. We're gonna go set up a quad servo base, basically. Uh, where are we? Uh, 
yep, this is the right one. We are going to go to this planet here. Uh, I think I have a pillar marked, and that's where we're going to go. We're going to fight some sentinels, get some quad servos, and set up a base that we can just sort of farm quad servos the very, very cheap, cheaterly way <laughs> by reloading the game. Uh, yeah, we'll see if that works. Is damage? What happened there? Oh, I never installed it. Yeah, yeah, fine. That's fine. Uh, all right, let's send those missions. Oh, before we start, actually, let's back out and let's go to here. I don't know if you noticed where we were at last time. I sure didn't, but these are all way higher. I do not. I think I, we had one of these, not four. We're up, we've made three of the maximum amount of... Uh, no, wait, that's... Oh, we've made 14 of this. We have eight of these. We have 14 100s. We have eight 200s. Oh, no, wait. What's going on here? 50s. I'm just blind. There's the big one. <laughs> 14, 8, and 6. That makes sense. That's a more even distribution that, uh, that I would expect to see. But we've created all that by sending missions. I didn't make any of that fuel. None. Not a single drop of fuel has been created on this save ever. We have uh, got 200 from starting our first frigate mission. Or how much do you get? 600? 600 fuel, something like that, to start your very first. You build one of these rooms and it gives you the recipe and 600, maybe 800 fuel. The rest is from sending missions. So let's do that. Let's go make some more fuel. Should we go get our quad servos? No, you know what? We're going to send these first. They're fast enough. They will be back before I go to bed. <laughs> if we want. You know... Maybe we do want to do this. Maybe we want to level up this exploration ship. We do need to send it on as many missions as possible to get rid of that and to get it to S-Class. But let's give it some ships that can reduce the fuel and maybe reduce the time. There's a 1% thought we had a better one. Oh, here we go. Just some 2%, eh? Hmm. Well, this one here is a 4% reduction in time, so that's good by itself. And, yeah, it'd be nice if you hit S-Class, so boom. We are five stars. The highlighted column is above 100. Ditto here. Also exploration. Okay. We can keep an eye on that and send, like, that ship there. There, we're halfway there. Because um, we just sent our exploration ship, right? So, let's level up our best chances uh, for really, really good ships on these double missions, short missions. Uh, could do that guy too, but I'm happy to do... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep Anjo in there, no problem. Five star mission, send that anyone can do industrial we'll start with next so that is our high level ship we're not going to be able to check the stats of it but we want to keep sending that one to see if it's ever going to hit B class even um, it's not looking good with stats this high it's not going to get that many more levels so this was a damaged ship it's got really good fuel reduction but it might not ever get um, S-Class, so it might not get any more fuel reduction. We'll see. That one's got a good chance of leveling up, so it'll be nice. We'll send that out. Uh, ditto there. And there. Oh, we need some more. Four more. Five more, actually. We need to get over 100. So, basically anything we send out, even this should get us over 100. There, 106. Done. Launch. Mm, general. Oh, no, we need uh, two missions. Ah, I shouldn't have sent out the industrial. I should have sent out that. That's fine, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, for the, these five frigates and these five frigates, when they come back in, in two hours, basically, 
Uh, I'm going to send them out on this mission and this mission so they can double dip on experience today. And the other ships just fresh out of luck. Oh well. Sorry, buddies. <laughs> Alright. Let's make a save. Head down to our ship. We don't have a base computer down there or anything. I think I just put a save beacon. See anything on the compass yet? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's red for sentinel pillar. Aggressive sentinels. Uh, we have a few slots. We want to get some salvaged glass, but we also want to get. Quad servos. Is it in the freighter? Where? Where are the quad servo? Single. Where's the quad servo we have? Ah, right there. Okay. We're gonna put that in the inventory, so we know that we can gain at least nine by fighting. We'll land a tiny ways away, why not? No need to get accosted as soon as we hop out of the ship, although we might anyway, who knows, they're everywhere on this planet. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sweet lady, no problem. Reload the pulse bitter. Uh, we don't have a combat scope, so we can't zoom in, but if I hop up here, we have, instead of a quad, we have a mech. But the mech will, mech will absolutely give a quad servo. You just need to not pick it up with your hands. You need to shoot it with a gun or a mining beam. The, uh, the thing that he drops. All right, let's get started on this. Uh, we've got 10 ammo in our paralysis mortar. We're gonna use that on this guy. That was easy. So, like I said, if we shoot this, watch up in the top right corner there. Quad servo. Alright, so we are going to fight these waves. Let these things build up. We don't need to get them yet. If our shields take damage or we run out of ammo, we'll worry about that later. I don't think we're going to run out of ammo. We got 25k. We'll do fine. We're at two stars, so we shouldn't have dogs yet. Oops, that was bad aim. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but the direction that you're pointing when the reinforcements arriving runs out, that timer at the top, that's where they will appear. So if I spin around to the right before that runs out, they'll appear over to the right. Oh, now we got a Sentinel Doggo. We are going to want to run from him. Maybe drop up one of those. Oh, it missed them, first of all. Someone was shooting us. Was it just that guy? Yeah, reinforcements are arriving. All right. Uh, the Sentinel quad ones, we can pick that one up. It will be a quad so servo if I run over and grab it with my gauntlet. A little bit 
distracted by the sentinels there. I didn't actually confirm that. We're gonna have to find that out in a second. Hey, you stop summoning noob guys. I don't want to fight them. Oh, hello. Reload, please. Thank you. There we go. So, uh, we just turned around. Everyone we were fighting came from the other direction. Let's see if we can get some guys to come from this direction over here. Yeah, look at that. Easy. So we're at five stars. There's going to be a big guy somewhere. Oh, right there, right beside us. Hello, buddy. We don't need stun grenades in this guy. We can just leave his uh, his legs undamaged and then shoot his head while... Yeah, look at that. We, we killed him without even needing a second leg. All right, we're going to have to fly up and grab this thing. And then we can shoot it. And we'll get two walker brains. There we go. Oh, we, we let a whole bunch of guys get summoned while we were goofing off with that guy. Whoopsie doodle. Where? Where is everyone? Oh, wow. Missed this guy. And a regular drone as the last one. There we go. Sentinels disabled. We can pick up any of the green ones we want, but since we do not want to pick up any of the uh, mech blue ones, we're just going to switch to the mining beam and shoot all of them with the mining beam. There's a blue one over there. Two blue ones. We can also, well, if we couldn't see them like that, what we could do is, oh, you may, may have noticed, we've got a uh, hazardous, non-hazardous planet here. we got a storm going on right now, right as we were fighting, a storm broke out. So one more reason I want to put a base here. Quad servos on tap, and it's, uh, it's cool. So we could have also used the Pfizer to scan around for any barrels we missed. They have that icon right there. And it says combat supplies. Looks like that's about it though. Lots of other stuff to grab, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay. I uh, believe, yeah, the thingies around here are already destroyed. Last time I was here and landed, I did the exact same thing. So I've already checked the multi-tool, and it's a B-class, I think, just a rifle. We'll take a peek. We're here. Yeah. Bleh. I mean, you know what? Not too shabby looking. I do like that look. It's okay. B-class, fire apart, bleh. Nope. Uh, now, what we're going to be doing after we set up a base here is we're going to be warping to this base, running over to this thing, picking this, and then picking up the blue thing that the quad, uh, the quad servo from the quad that is here. Because it will die immediately when we talk to this and pick that. And then we'll make a save game and we'll do it again because every time you reload the game the sentinels come back on these planets so we have two hours i think something like that 
of uninterrupted time to play in while we have disabled the Sentinels, but if we want them back, we just have to reload the game. Simple as that. So, let's drop a base computer. You know what? Let's go to train manipulator. Oops. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. But I do want to be on restore mode anyway. We're going to look around for anywhere that the Sentinels destroyed. Look at that. There we go. want our base to be nice and clean. This is glowing, so something happened here. It wasn't a full-fledged divot. I think we got all the major holes. We're, I think we're good. Alright, let's drop a base computer. need a save beacon, but let's, you know what, let's put this right beside this. Let's not squander time here. Alright, yeah, we're going to claim that base. Wow, rainbow. Very pretty planet. Another reason to have a base here. Uh, but Quad Servos, name of the game today. How many did we get during that excursion? We had one, right? Uh, we're up to six. We made five during that fight. Not too shabby. So if we want, we can just do that. The fight was very fast. We can do that fight again by reloading the game. And we'll have a hut with a button in it that will kill all the bad guys outside. So, yeah. Don't know why I can't press the middle mouse button without the left mouse button, but I can't. <laughs> all right. Let's do some building. We don't need much, but you know what we could do? How many of these can we build? Only 28. We should have a, a, a ton of uh, condensed carbon. I think I put it on the freighter, so we'll have to get it from there. Let's just start making some carbon, and we're going to make a lot of flooring and cover the basin here with flooring. So, first of all, the Sentinels won't want to walk on it. But if they do, or if they shoot at us while we're on it, uh, it won't, well, it'll destroy the ground, but we won't fall into holes. We'll just be able to have a clear line of sight the whole time we fight. So we're not going to do any kind of weird, super glitchy cheatery here. We're just going to put these in. I might actually leave a spot around this thing. Now, I'll put a put a hut that we can interact with it. Something like that. That should do. Let's put a wall in. I think we can reach that terminal just fine. Looks good to me. And the rest will be doorways. Put a roof on this part. And the rest will just be flooring. Nothing fancy. We're not going to do any building circles. Oh my goodness, I have done so much circle building this weekend. Uh, yeah, I am really out of practice. Well, not anymore. Not <laughs> anymore at all. Very much practiced on my terrible computer. <laughs> oh, computer's amazing, uh, but the, the timing on it, I cannot get used to. Oh, we need more carbon. We need more carbon. Well, are we on one of those planets? No, I see trees in the background. Ah, darn. I do have one of those planets nearby that I've wanted to put a base on with this save. You know what? I know where we have some carbon. 
Forgot about that. We don't have to cover this entire little valley here, but I think it would be nice to have a good back and forth area to run in and covering our hut. So maybe one more there. And another row here. I'm sure we are still gonna trip on these wires and stuff if we walk over those, but it should be better in general. Four more of these things. We'll just extend this. There we go. So that's going to do. That's more than enough to upload this, but we, we don't really need to upload this base. But we do want to name it. And uh, we can capture a screenshot too. That's actually not bad. It's a pretty good screenshot. Get an animal in it, though. There we go. Uh, we're going to call this... Oops, it's a neural. Fentanyl pillar base. There we go. And for sure, why not upload it? <laughs> that should save the base as well. Cool. Uh, wh what else what can we do here? You know what else we should do here? Do a little bit more building. We got a few more minutes. Come on, here we go. There we go. There we go. And we're out of carbon already. That was fast. Oh, now uh, let's put uh, that aside for now. Let's see. What do we got on us? We have metal plating. This is Starship. It's out of range anyway for some reason, even though we've got that. So we need to destroy something in our inventory. Or send it to the freighter. How much we need to... We should have checked this before. We need four metal plating. And what else do we need? Hey, we have everything we need for this. And then we're going to want two of those. We need two more metal plating. And we should be good. We should be good. Two more metal plating. Not hurt to have a teleporter in here. Wood grain like the rest of our base. Incoming storm? You don't say. I don't like that. We might want to put some stairs around the lip of this thing just so we don't get stuck having to go up and down. But for now, I'm very happy with that. And uh, I'm going to hit upload again.
get rid of that really, really loud music for some reason. <laughs> okay. That's it for today, everyone. Until next time, have a good time.